Card collector here. I just uh, have seen some people are having trouble with the new lightsabers and figured I'd just go out and get a couple and take them apart and show you guys really what they're made of. Um, there's been some discussion on whether the lightsabers actually sound differently from each other and I have found that they really don't. They all have the same pitch as you'll see in a moment. Um, so we have the 2010 Darth Vader and the Anakin. And I'll turn this one on real quick. They put the motion sensor at the pommel, so it's not as sensitive, which is nice. And you'll see the Ankin sounds the same way. Okay, so the Ogden one sounds the same as all these, and uh, so no different sound fonts, unfortunately. But for $20, they're a decent soundboard. Whenever we come back, I'll have the Darth Vader one all gutted, and I'll show you how to wire it up. Quick, I was taking it apart, and I found that the activation box, although it is plastic, really is just one outer piece from the saver, you can see. So I thought, hey, what if this works on PVC? And so I got my one inch PVC. And look at this, look at this fit. Okay. Look at that. With a little modification, that would make an awesome clamp box for a PVC lightsaber. So just as something else you can use for your lightsaber scraps. Oh, and the bowl strip, it comes out pretty easily. So, all right, back to disassembly. Okay, so I got it all disassembled. Basically what I did was I took a hacksaw and I cut it down the middle because I knew the soundboard was going to be near the emitter. And so the speaker's still in here somewhere. I'll tear it out later. Um, but I basically just pried them in half with two pair of pliers. And this is what I got. Okay. So the first thing I noticed about this board, and I thought to myself, holy cow, that is a wide board and I checked and it does not fit in a one one quarter inch sink tube um, I don't have any MH parts with me MHS parts with me right now um, but yeah it's probably well hold on yeah here's a ruler for scale it's about one and an eighth inches wide and so just keep that in mind whenever you're building. We have, if we zoom in a little bit, and my focus is bad. So what we'll do is I'll just point with my fingers. So this trace is actually these two green wires. So this green wires are the switch. Okay. This black wire is the negative to the battery. Okay. Uh, these two blue wires are to the speaker, and I think are the rest are positive. And whenever I start wiring it up, oh wait, no, the yellow wires are the motion sensor, blue wires are the speaker, and the red is the um, positive to the battery. So I'm going to solder this up, and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I just soldered this off the board. And what I did is it's attached by glue and the solder points. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go back and forth right here, melt all those and pull down on this side, and then go do the same thing over there, go back and forth, pull on this side, and eventually by um, doing that, the board will fall through. And um, it'll take some pretty soldering to keep these from merging, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to merge all these anyway. I believe this is your negative. I'm not sure yet, and um, but we'll find out in a minute. All right, it's all done, and I actually think I figured out now why everyone was having such problems with this board. It took me a minute to figure out. I was correct in that this left one was indeed the um, negative, but it turns out there are three negatives and only one positive. So for me, on my right, the only positive wire 
is the trace on the right. The three traces on the left are all negative. So you can see that whenever I uh, turn it on. Let's see if I can do this one hand. The light comes right on and there are no problems whatsoever. Now normally I'd use a PMP transistor like that. You buy them at Radio Shack um, and use it in combination with a seal P4 or Lux3 or whatever you want to use. Um, this is really nice at driving your 5mm. So, um, actually let me get the multimeter out and we'll get some values. Okay, so um, I've got my multimeter hooked up and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do measure the milliamp output of the board and this is all of them, all the negatives put together. Okay, so just touch that there, and you can see we're getting a good 16 milliamps, 16 to 17 milliamps, that's all you're getting. So you're definitely going to want to use a PNP transistor, or a 5 volt relay, or something of that nature. So I hope that helps with your Darth Vader 2010 soundboard wiring problems, and have fun with your sabers.